And I love my brother Ronald or Randy, but he's one stupid guy. He's a stupid fella. Because, you know, what, do you, what do you think is going to happen when you deep fry again? Animals. You know, he would spend most of his day in his room all alone. He never talked to me much. He never talked to me much. I mean, we talked when we were kids, but I went off to college and he just kind of stayed there. Fair, I mean, fair play to him. I thought he was doing a spaceman college. Just so I, he said it. he just came up with some excuse. He was building up experience without going to college. I, I, you know, I was real young. I was real stupid. So I thought he was doing something right. Anyways, I went to college to uh, be a janitor. I got a lot of jobs cleaning up places. Mostly, uh, you know, bars and you know, crime scenes, I scrubbed a couple brains on 4 a you pay me, I'll do anything, uh, you know, anyways, but being a janitor ain't all that good, cause you still, cause you ain't alone, you ain't alone to, uh, air world, she, I don't know, currently I'm working a job as the freaking mechanic, right by that fridges, cause I'll tell you what, in drunk drivers, we're around here in Tennessee, we you know the drunk drivers, you don't really get hit by the car. They just run into them little statues. We go fresh his little big boy, that big fat dude that they use as a mascot. I never care for that little bastard. Uh Sinclair dinosaur. They always run their ran their cars into that. I kinda of feel bad for them things, but I will go repair. It's real easy, you just gotta mold it all back up. Anyways. Uh but I lost my job after doing a while, for a little while doing that. Cause I quit. I just got tired of replacing the same bit of his face and tummy over and over. Anyways, right now I'm kind of in between jobs, but you know, you know how it is. I'm getting welfare checks, using them good and saving up for a fresh new pair of boots. Boots for my barn, cause I'm building a barn, I guess. And uh, I got my uncle, my uncle's living with me. He's paying my rent. That's what I'm mainly getting. But shoot, yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, most of my family is uh, dead. Or at least, you know, well, I just don't know about them. I haven't heard from my grandmother in like 20 plus years. I hope she's doing good out there. She's always been uh, a bit liberal, a bit liberal. So I hope she's doing good in Chicago. And my mother, I don't know, she died. And my father got abducted by aliens. I don't care what the FBI says, he got freaking abducted by aliens. I tell them, that's all I know. He just got abducted. I mean, one night he was there, and the next night he wasn't. It was a big light right in the sky. He got abducted by aliens. And the program. Him. Hopefully, I don't know, man, he was. But that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of them daddy long legs. They run with, you know, I'm kind of a tall person. And girl, I'm a father too. So my ex wife always call me Daddy Long Legs. And I'm like, you shut your mouth. I ain't no, I ain't one of them beasts. And, you know, that's why we got divorced. Cause she, keep, she kept calling me stupid insects like love bugs. It's like, I ain't no bug. It's an insult. She insulted me. Oh well. I've never been too much of a lover either. First girlfriend I had, I had in high school, and while I hit her in the head with a crowbar, and she tried to steal my freaking, she tried to steal my tender entertainment system. So of course I hit it. Dude, my freaking Morgan freed me up in here. Oh well. That's my story. It's my life story. Uh, I don't really got much to say. I, I'm a typical boy. I was born out in oh, I was born out in country, country Texas. I knew down back there. Oh, <laughs> I knew down back there, a little dude from Pantera. He was real nice, at least to me. But I don't know. It was a bit fruity on me. But anyways, he liked to play that guitar. And I told him. You're horrible at playing that guitar. And he told me, why you say that? And I said, because you can't do nothing. I, I didn't know what a guitar was. I thought it was a freaking accordion, you know? So I told him, 
that don't sound nothing like no accordion. And he's like, hey, I want to use a guitar. And I'm like, the hell is a guitar? They showed me. And I ain't into that, uh, that heavy rock and roll death or music, that punk music, but I'm glad him and his little boyfriend and some pan and Pantera got real popular. Phil and Sound be the racist for me. You know, my family got the old red flag, but I ain't on that much racist. Mainly just because I ain't, I ain't never took it down. This is forget my house has been the same as it ever was since we moved in here. Uh, for you know, I ain't too political, tell you the truth. I don't really care. All I do is, well, I try to get my, my money. I try to get as much Budweiser, Budweiser as I can. There's enough beer, Bud Light. Oh, I don't care, man. I'll get some Heineken. It's an addiction. It's a bad, I know, but hey, what can you do? Oh, also, I got a brand new key cat. You got a new key cat. He goes, meow, 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 meow. All throughout the freaking night, that drives me nuts. That's why I kicked him. And, you know, it was probably not a good, but whatever. He deserved it. He kept me, 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 me. I didn't like it. I didn't like it one bit. Anyways, uh, I should probably tell you guys about my children. I have two kids. I, wait, no, three kids. Probably a lot more than I've ever met. Anyways, so the three kids that I do know that I do have, one of them, I don't really get to see all that much. I just know. Cause I was a sperm donor, so yeah, I mean, it's my kid. But, you know, don't really know much about him. Never really met, I mean, I, you know, I hope he's a nice person, but never really got to raise him. Mm-hmm. Anyways, oh, my first son of kid I had there was a boy I named him. Oh, shoot, I think I named him, like, uh, William, I named him Willis. <laughs> I always called him William. Well, yeah, Willis, he was a nice boy, kind of fat. He was a bit of a tubby. He was a chubby, chubby bastard. <laughs> he was a big old troublemaker, I tell you that. He always chased chickens. It was really a hit with the ladies. But, you know, whatever, you know. Some people just ain't that. I don't think it's nothing to be ashamed of. Some people just don't got it. That's all good. Shoot, man, I like, I've been in plenty of marriages. I know what it's like. Relationships ain't all that. Being single. Don't worry, it's not that bad. You know, especially because you won't get any STDs. I mean, you won't, you won't, you don't want to be walking around with herpes. You know. Anyways, uh, he got rid of himself with old girlfriend. Um, they got engaged a little while back. I'm proud of him at least. I uh, don't know who will be if we have any kids when the wedding, when the wedding is, but I'll certainly be there. I'll be there for my son. That's the thing, you know, I, you know, I'm always being there for people that I love, my friends. Man, oh man, I'll be there for you. You don't even got to know me. I'm a very reliable person, man. I can keep a secret. I met people who murder people. Cold blood, scouting in the throat, and ain't nobody knows about it. If you didn't hear that from me, I ain't confessing nothing. I ain't confessing nothing. Anyways, then my second child, that's, that's my daughter, and when I had her, after my son went off to college, and, well, you know, she, I don't know, you know, she, uh, it was a lot more country. My son, my son was always into that hippie hopper music, and, you know, the middle one, that rock and roll, him and Don Bag got along real good. Uh, Never played with him, but they just liked each other. It's sure come bone. Anyways, you know, so be honest, my son. That's another thing. I don't really care because I know it's all just fake. I know it's all fake. I know that Ice Cube dude, he ain't never killed nobody. I mean, I guess he punched a couple people. I mean, like I said, I hit my first girlfriend with a crowbar, you know, but ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nobody special. I certainly know the country dudes that. I listen to him, my daughter listen to him. They ain't perfect either. You know, my son is all, uh, I don't call him a, a juggling or something. I don't even I see pee. <laughs> they ain't talking about seeing urine. <laughs> Anyways, he walked around with his old necklace and his backwards hat. I think it looks just dumb and foolish, but it look real life. Anyways. That's oh, my son, my daughter, she's real country, she got her, you know, the pigtails and the friggin' 
a plaid shirt and her some jeans and my boots and cowboy hat. So yeah, you know, I don't know. I guess uh, I rubbed off on her a lot more uh, than my son. Even then, my son is playing country and he got that accent. He got the country accent. He went through both phases. Uh, rack school, kid rack. But once he went country, he stopped listening. Anyways, anyways, my daughter. But you know, she never really got in too much trouble. I mean. And she stole a car once, but I stole plenty of cars. She you know, in my family, stealing cars is just nothing. You can do that every day. I mean, I only did that on Tuesday. I don't care there's my car now. And she don't drink. My son don't drink either. But, like, she don't drink whatsoever. So my son have a couple beers at a party. A couple shots. You know, I mean, when I'm allowed the beer, and I mean, he don't usually get it, but if it's on New Year's or Christmas or something, maybe he takes a little sand here on there. That don't really matter. I usually finish his. Uh, but she don't smoke. She don't do nothing really. I mean, she's kind of basic. She's a basic as a bitch. I'll tell you that right. You could born. But I love her. You know, she's my daughter. I went to her wedding. She got divorced twenty times. She's some hippie now. Some hippie of the dippity. I think that's just plain stupid. Cause she got dreadlocks. She got them face tats and Peter nose piercings and whatnot. And it's like, you know, my son got facial piercings. He got a lot of piercings. I mean, he, he's a freaking juggler over there. He was a good guy, darn twist, tw uh, twisted. You know, I, but, it, you know, whatever. At least, because she hates me. I don't know, she just don't return my calls. Anyways. I don't know, she's making music now, I guess. She's famous or whatever. But yeah, that's just me. I mean, this is, you know, like, um, I mean, you know, I lived a long life. I've seen many famous people and rich people. I just never really got into that. I just never got into that, you know, like my son. My son went on to paint his uh, face up like a clown. I think he, uh, I don't know, shoot, I don't care, remember. So, uh, it's like Luigi Big Mac or Luigi Mac or I don't know, he got them good lives now. And he rules. You know, my daughter, she's big hippie, she got her podcast now. You know, I'm friends with Don Beck. Well, he used to call himself Diamond Daryl. That was the weirdest thing ever, but, you know, Phil, no, that's, that's his other friend. He's a bald one. She was named Dar Abbott, Daryl, I guess, whatever. And y'all you know, friends with the dude, guitarist from Pain Terror. He died, and I cried when I found out he died. I didn't know he died. I stopped talking to him after uh, his, he got signed to a label. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when I first saw my son wearing a Pantera shirt, some poor guy getting punched in the face. I'm like, hey, it's Pantera. When did they make that? I remember this. I remember this. I heard them. This ain't the Pantera that I heard. It was like Kiss or, or a Jewish priest. I don't know. Motley Crue. They were a lot more uh, flashy or flamboyant or I don't know what's wrong. They had a lot bigger hair. Definitely one was going to, like, sheath and bubble on me. But, shoot, man, I don't know. I didn't even know when they, they got a new singer. I didn't always knew Terrence. He was their singer. Shoot, I don't know. I'm talking to you here all, but I won't let you go. Go now. I'm just, I'm just calling in just to tell you guys that, you know, I, I don't know what happened. Like, you know, don't call me. You know, Mr. Policeman, I'll tell you this. I don't know anything, okay? You know, there they might, I know they might be arriving at my house any second now, but I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this right here. I don't know a damn thing. I'm a false lead, okay? 